Constituents are the people and organisations in your database. We call them constituents because they may or may not be donors yet, and they may also engage with your charity in other ways, such as volunteering or subscribing to your friends or membership scheme. So we use the word constituent to cover all the bases for someone in your database. Constituents can be added manually using the orange add button, or they can be input directly using Donify's integration with MailChimp. For third-party files, constituents can be uploaded in bulk. You can find out more about that in the Uploading Your Data video. This is the whole constituent list in your charity. You can limit your results by selecting the appropriate tick box for both status and type. You can also amend your view of the constituents by selecting one of these icons to display the records in either Tile View, Grid View, or list view, and you can select how many records should be shown. Let's take a closer look at the detail held about a constituent. First, let's search for Roger Abbott by typing his surname into the Google style search box and then by clicking search. A list of constituent will display. You can click the constituent to view further information. There are standard types of constituents within Donify for example, individuals, company, trust. This is indicated by an icon in the constituent profile. The orange Manage button enables you to change the constituent type, archive or delete a constituent. Donify can apply automated star rating to a constituent based on a number of attributes. An example could be the ratings based on an amount given. Donify also displays donor metrics, showing a summary of exciting information. Constituents have three tabs of information. Profile, which shows you who they are and where to contact them. Timeline, which shows history and activities during their time with you. And finally, connections, which shows relationships your constituent may have with other constituents. Looking further into Roger Abbott's record in Donify, you will see various panels of information. Firstly, the name panel holding personal information. Next, you have contact details including three different contexts, personal, work and other. This will include the physical mailing address if you have it, area and region information as well as email and phone numbers which is linked to the communication preferences panel. You can find out more about that in the communications video, but briefly this provides the ability to enable or disable communications by various channels. You can set their default contact details, where and how this person wants things sent, and you can also set any exceptions, for example if they do not wish to receive campaigns, or they want membership detail by email, but events by mail, and so on. Where these panels display can be customised by you with your own preferences. You will notice this icon attached to each panel. This allows you to drag and drop the panels to where you want to see them. Tags is an area where constituents can be segmented, for example by interests or committee membership. It includes a start and end date, notes, the ability to link to a campaign, which you can learn more about in our short campaigns video. Using tags enables both inclusions and exclusions depending on constituents' likes or dislikes. For example, you can be included if they like Scrabble, or specifically excluded if they positively dislike Scrabble. Smart tags in Donify allow tags to be automatically applied to constituents according to business rules. For example, the high value donor smart tag would appear when donations reach a certain level. The business rules definable by you, but there are also standard tags available. The panel for list overrides enables manual inclusions or exclusions of a constituent to mailing lists. For example, you may want a constituent to receive a newsletter, but they do not fall into the standard filters used for producing that mailing. By adding an inclusion, which will be displayed in green, that person will always receive that particular newsletter. The opposite is also true. An exclusion, shown in red, will mean that even if they fall into the general criteria for receiving a newsletter, they will be excluded. 
the Household Members panel shows any constituents linked at that same address as the constituent you are viewing, and from there you are able to click to view the Household Members record. The Social Accounts Links panel allows you to store additional information in relation to social handles or IDs. When you want to see historical activities and communications for a constituent, you can view the Timeline tab. In here you will see a summary of all timeline engagements or you can filter by activities, gift aid declarations, transactions and more. Clicking the orange Add button allows you to add to the timeline from either the home page or direct from a contact record. Selecting the Connections tab will show you any relationships that have been stored between your constituents and also includes an attractive networking diagram to show relationships. Why not further your Donify knowledge by watching our other videos in the Donify community? Thanks for watching.